Um, this game may take a little while to play through. Like, I can play through it like nothing, but it takes a little while. Um, I'm not going to go through any... Um, I'm not going to go through any warp zones because that's just straight up cheating. Um, I enjoy the journey and hopefully uh, get some good laughs out of it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start the game. I just realized the game is way too loud. I thought I took care of that. Oh, hey, Wolfhead Bernie's here. Ah, oh, that's right. Um, yeah, no, I, I saw the like uh, the other day. I'm kind of sharing it with the chat. I was shared a video where uh, they were uh, reading some kind of flop uh, clop fic. And I was completely laughing my ass off. Okay, so which is which? Okay, so that's... Well, that was the plan. Oh, obviously. But no, the, the, the thing that I remember laughing at the most is how much of an issue you had with grammar uh, problems. Like, it drove you nuts. Yeah. I'm going to be honest, all of it irritated me, but when we got to It Was Appeared, I was just <laughs> done. It Was Appeared? <laughs> How about, don't you mean it has appeared? Like, just, you know it's sad that they focus too much on, you know, their fantasy than focusing on the grammar itself. Yeah. I'm actually starting to think that the person who made the fic was a troll fic writer, where they do it deliberately poorly just because it would be funny. Yeah, sorry, Nightfall. Didn't mean to have the game be too loud. Actually, is it still, um, I think it's still a little bit on the loud end. You get out of here. I should Hold turn. A moment, I'll have a listen. See. Yeah, uh, there's always going to be you know that bit of a delay. Let's see, like tricky fox. What? Let's see. You know, I would. Uh, I thought you would tackle on the Japanese version of Mar. I don't know the difference between those two. I mean, they're they're kind of the same game. I don't think too much about that. Velvet Blossom, thank you for following. Ah, shit! I missed it. Eww. All right, well, not to worry. Yeah, it sounds okay on my end. Okay. I think my voice comes out a bit loud for some reason. Well, that's mainly because... Hang on, let's see. Then again, I turned down the stream. Okay, um... No, like, that's mainly because I tend to turn down the volume from the volume control. So that way I won't burst people's eardrums. While I tend to keep the voice, uh, voice conversation normal, so that way the commentary can be much more dominant and not, you know, have any potential um, copyright issues, you know? Right. Yeah, so... Level 2! You know, since a lot of people have played Mario Brothers 3, um, and since they love it so much, uh, which, like, which world is your favorite? Like, I'm gonna ask the chat that, and maybe I could ask you that question. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, I... You if haven't? I did have a childhood, I don't remember it. I don't think I've ever played these games. All right, fair enough. You probably came from, like, I, I like I don't know how old you are. Um, I'm 20. I turned 20 last May. You turned 20 last May. All right, so you were born in the late 90s. That makes perfect sense. At that point, a lot of people are more accustomed to, like, PlayStation 2 and, to, like, the next-gen consoles. Hmm. That's, that's from my only, like, that's from a perspective that I would take it from. Yes. Yeah. I love that when um, Mario has the, uh, the 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 frickin' star. Time to flip, bitch. For some reason, they don't have they like they didn't incorporate that in Mario World. I would have loved to have seen that. Hmm. Let's see, dude, I didn't jump on Mario World. Oh, okay. Well, that's fair enough. Uh, some people were born in different generations, but for those who have played the game, um. Luigi Man, Logic is here, is currently with me in the chat. Or in call, I mean. I kind of know that. Yeah, like, I get those two mixed up. Nightfall Stream says Logic is here. Yes, I, I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty hilarious um, username that you go by. Like, obviously the nickname goes by Logic, but the full name Logic is here. It's... It's like, oh, logic is here. Like, it's a whole sentence as a name. Yeah. In fact, the sole, re the sole reason I did it is so, like, whenever I walk into a social situation, it's like, hello, everybody, logic is here. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta hand it to you. You, you do have a sense of humor doing that. <laughs> hmm. Um... 
All right, let's go jump up here. In fact, that's pretty much the intro I see myself running with once I finally find, you know, something to do. Come on. Uh, once again, let's fly up here. There we go. Gotcha. <laughs> God damn it, Peter. Hello, Peter. He probably can't hear me. No, he probably can't. Uh, Logic is here, says hi. Oh, hi, Logic. Ed. God, I'm always good with those things. Me too. The, the freaking triple cards. The Birch, by the way, Logic is here, shares something on Discord. Let's take a look at this. Oh, you've. I have no idea what. Oh, okay. Um, Pokedex number 371 name, Pyro type, Fire Normal OT. Uh, that's right. OT. I had to wait until, like, yeah. after the chat box oh, is, like, good. done typing before I can go and pick a box. Stupid. I get it. It's conscience will help you on your way. We have to hear that a billion times every time I enter that stupid thing. The princess is in another castle while he's flipping you off. Yeah, you know, I, I think that's the thing I noticed with the uh, toads. They tend to repeat themselves. <laughs> you know, I would have tolerated Toad if his voice hadn't changed with, you know, Super Mario Advance. Yeah, I can't do the voice or... Like, I can't do the voice because I wouldn't recommend it because because that could give yeah, like, you like a serious case of laryngitis right there. I feel sorry hmm. for the voice actor who has to make that kind of voice. Could you I'll, imagine if that was his natural voice? <laughs> he'd probably be used to it, but like actually voice acting the name, it's like oh god, he must have had like a serious case of laryngitis or some kind of vocal illness that just like makes him sound like that. I used to like the sound of his voice from um, Mario 64 and Mario Party, where it was just smooth and happy. It's like, yeah, yeah, like I, I like that because it's just it's happy. But with like, again, it's like, oh, my God, <laughs> don't speak ever again. I want to fucking die. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So, that was Solar, wasn't it? Yes. Hey, how are you doing? My existence is pain! <laughs> every, every moment I live is agony. You still have to make an art piece image of you saying that Dirk died and you're holding a spoon. You wonder why toads are so bad at defending themselves? It's not because we're worthless, it's because we want to die. <laughs> Toads are the me seats oh, yes, of the Mario world confirmed. A toad's existence is pain, Mario! Hey and Peter. It's every toad's goal to alleviate <laughs> that pain. Hang on a second. Um if you actually want to say something, like try to come up closer so that way people can actually hear you. Alright, Peter's got Ladies a word. Gentlemen, I'm gonna paint a picture for you. Close your eyes. Now imagine Golden Fox has two mismatched eyes. He's holding a spoon upside down. And then, in the loudest voice you could possibly think of, he says, Am I really gonna defile this thing for grave? This oh, yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, I was... <laughs> Give him the backstory on that. Okay, so, um, when I was at a call before, I was trying to reiterate the lines of what Solar said, scaring the shit out of me during Zelda, and I misprint like, I mis- um... You misspoke. Yeah, I misspoke the line, and I was like, oh, fuck. Am I might really going to defile this gray for money? <laughs> of course I am! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I know, but the way you said it was, am I really going to defile this thing for gray? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and so I added, I uh, added the, the shit uh, old cartoons. Oh, yes, I like do. The shit old cartoons could get away oh, with, yes, man. I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually funny, you should bring the, me and Wolfhead and some other guys in V server who are actually talking about different old cartoons that people love to watch and looking back on them is like how many dirty jokes did they make and why <laughs> like what oh, like which shit. which jokes in particular uh we would i can't remember what it was called but like uh wolfhead on there he'll probably like Don't! He'll, pro he'll probably have them in the chat at some point but i saw you surpassed 510 subs on your channel congrats yeah um i'm not gonna do it this time but next time i stream i'm gonna do uh mega man x 
that's gonna be uh, yeah. Exci yeah, that's gonna be exciting to do. Yeah, we were talking about cow and chicken and the buffalo gal. Oh Jesus oh. Christ! No, cow and chicken just has inappropriate jokes written all over it. Like as a kid, I was able to tell that. Like they have the pork butts. Oh, they yeah. have that freaking red demon dude. I forgot his name. It just, and he's like he's fucking butt naked. They show, I, I think there was a bamboo in there. And he, like, he's got, like, an ass pop, like, sticking out. Like, that's... Ugh. And there was a scene where someone literally reached their hand into Chicken and turned him inside out with all of his organs on the outside. How the fuck did this get past the, um... How did this get past the censors? Like... There were no censors. <laughs> because old cartoons can get away with anything. Because kids weren't little bitches back then. <laughs> You know what? I'll give you that. <laughs> they also weren't idiots back then, but you know. Back then, back then living as a new YouTube channel was viable. <laughs> Topical. <laughs> you know, I would rather have kids watch, you know, something as grotesque as that than having them watch Logan Paul. Mm. Not going to be around the bush. I... I... Like, he did attempt to apologize, but then he tasted a rat, and then there's, like, other stupid shit that he does. It's like, you expect me to feel sorry for you or forgive you, and yet here you go making these stupid shit again. You know, I better stop, because the last thing I need is to talk about, like, I don't know, topics like that that are very sensitive. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's a flipping around. All right. All right, fuck you. Immediately, I take care of this uh, this freaking Hammer Brother. Like, Hammer Brothers are a bitch. Like, they're a bit like, okay. In let me this game especially. No, what I mean is, like, they're, they're a fucking joke, but they're an absolute bitch in the first game because it's like you have to really time your jump correctly to make sure you hit them. But even then, there's a good chance you're going to get hit by the freaking um, the Hammers to step on top of them. Mm -hmm. They're especially a bigger pain in the ass in the lost levels because they continue like coming towards you. Hmm. Oh God! I the... go ahead. I'm, not... I'm looking at the playback and there was that toad doing the weird jumping jacks thing, and I'm just like, are you trying to turn into a morph ball? A, a fucking what? Is he trying morph to ball, You know, from Metroid. like the morph ball from Metroid. That's every no. time he does a jumping thing, he looks like he's trying to curl into a ball. The hilarious That's thing the about the whole morph ball thing is that the reason why it was invented is because they wanted they to create, didn't. yeah, because they wanted to, they couldn't make a sprite where uh, Samus couldn't um, crawl, like they didn't, like they couldn't have the space for an NES standard, so it kind of became a thing where <laughs> like a morph ball was just like there. That's how uh, it started. I mean, that is yeah, absolutely I mean, hilarious. You know, what? I, I was on top of theory. him. What the hell was that? I remember Game Dip Theory did an entire video on the morph ball. <laughs> And how the morph ball was literally just, if you curled down into a ball, you'd be the same size. <laughs> the only problem with that is that because of the mass of the morph ball itself, it actually makes you less likely to fit into those spaces. Oh, wait. The ship is over there. Brett, you fucking dumbass. All the way at the top of the map. What a fucking joke. <laughs> mm -mm, doo -doo, doo -doo. This uh, is how we learn. It's oh, funny shit. because in Metroid Prime, I feel like, I feel like actually, going and... Go ahead, Solar. Like, yeah, you can actually read up on the pirate logs in Metroid Prime and fucking... If you read them, they'll say, oh yeah, we've tried to replicate the morph ball. But after we brutally mangled the spines of about 70... <laughs> <laughs> I ought to take a look at that because I, uh, I have that Metroid Prime trilogy, which uh, you gave me back at Bronicon uh, last oh, year. Yeah. Oh, I'll bet. <laughs> Alright. That's how it should have been. I don't know what the hell it was when I stepped on this bastard the last time I was here. Yeah, no, these guys... These guys are pussies. Oh, hey, that toast... it's one of Bowser... 
It's one of Bowser's children. Murder time. <laughs> do any of you guys watch Dorkly? Mm, um, no, I can't say that I do. Okay. Nope. So Dorkly is a website that has a lot of video game parodies with sprites and such. Uh, they're kind of associated with, um, I think they were made by College Humor. And one of the shorts was that um, Bowser was visiting some kind of a weapon shop, and there's a Koopa there. And the first thing he does is he pulls out a gun and shoots him in the kneecap saying, uh, like, look, you've got these cannons to like, move at a slow pace. These killed my children, okay? These killed my children. <laughs> <laughs> like, they literally, like, went all over the map about that. Like, he shot, like, another kneecap. He was, like, he fucking wounded the shit out of the, the shop owner. And... <laughs> Uh, the next thing, like the last scene, um, like there's an up, like there's upgraded like cannons, and Mario doesn't know it. It's like, oh, it's another one of these cannons, and it's just like a huge machine gun blowing half his body to smithereens. <laughs> no, the shit that they come up with is just like holy shit. Like some of which like just makes sense by gaming standards, but at the same time, it's like some of which can be really fucked up. Like there's one where Mario goes into a complete murderous rampage for no goddamn reason. It just happens. And the shit that he does, it's like, you would have to see it to believe it. <laughs> yeah, so I found the log. Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> the science team is attempting to reverse engineer Samus Aaron's arsenal based off of data acquired from her assaults on our forces. Progress is slow but steady. Command would dearly enjoy turning Aran's weapons against her. We believe we can implement beam weapon prototypes in three cycles. Aran's power suit technology remains a mystery, especially the curious morph ball function. All attempts at duplicating it has have ended in disaster. Four test subjects were horribly broken and twisted when they engaged in our morph ball prototypes. The science team decided to wisely move on afterwards. I mean, you don't even have to be that good of a contortionist to fit into the morph You know, that ball, does though. raise the question, how is it that Samus was able to adapt to the morph ball uh, mechanic? It's supposed to be something DNA. to do with shows that, yeah. That the thing. DNA, okay. So she was probably one of the few, uh, like, bounty hunters to um, be successful with it. I think mm. she's, like, the only one that's been successful with it. What's up? Um, do you happen to know what, uh, what happened to my headphones? Because one of the little things is missing. No, I haven't, actually. I'm sorry about that, man. Yeah, no, you were the last one to sit there. Oh. Well, I didn't notice, uh, I didn't notice the headphones there. So, did you look inside, like, the cushions and such in the couch? Yeah. And you still haven't found it. Yeah. Crap. Um. I look at the same place like, like I did before. What the hell? Ah. You know, I think it's kind of evil that you have only, like, two chances in the matching game. And when it comes to lining up the faces, it always loves to land on the toad face or the mushroom face. And you have only one chance of trying to line them. It's a fucking joke. Mm. That's one of the things I didn't like about this game. It's the, the freaking, um... Oh, Jesus. It's always the freaking bonus games. Ah, oh, son of a bitch! Yeah, I was never successful at the bonus games in this game. The White Mushroom House. I, in World 2-2, I don't think I noticed it. Alright. God damn these swarms, they come crashing down. Ow! Damn it! I ran way too fast. Too fast. <laughs> Too fast, too furious, or something. I don't know. Oh my god. Some of the mediocre franchise reference. <laughs> oh, damn it. If there are any fans of Fast and Furious in the chat, I would say sorry, but I'm more inclined to say fight me. <laughs> <laughs> I am kidding, of course. I'm an intellectual. I'm worth nothing. I'm worth nothing in a fight. I'm not even that good of an intellectual ever. <laughs> You can win those mini games if, um, posse the luck of God. What? Uh. I don't fucking know. Who would be a fan of Fast and Furious? You know, I remember back in, um, uh, what was it? Uh, back in high school, 
my brother was actually really into the Fast and the Furious stuff because back then, a lot of people loved talking about cars and like different like. Oh, son of a bitch! I jumped into a goddamn boomerang. Unfortunate. I've never heard that one before. <laughs> I'll be keeping my ear off for that one. Ah, bullshit. That's unfortunate. I love those moments when something happens midway through context, and because it's on a delay, I just think it's part of the actual sentence. You know, like, yeah, yeah, no, that's that's one of the funniest things that happened. Treasure ship. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, I think I may have overlooked that. I may have missed my chance there. Um, I don't know if there's any other ones there. Looks like Wolfhead uh, Brony is laughing his ass off and enjoying his time. <laughs> yeah, no, I saw that video when um. I think you were probably in listening in on that um, topic. Yeah, no, uh, Logic showed me the video where you guys were uh, reading off that stupid cloth fic. I have to admit, that's hilarious as shit. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you very much. Fuck Funny as fuck to watch, not quite as enjoyable in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. Oh yeah, no, hey, the treasure wait. ship bonus, it's it's uh it's it's a very exciting one. What are those tiny baby Goombas in those boxes? I'm afraid to ask. You know, there is that one piece of information that if you read the um if you read the manual on the first Mario game, um they say that those brick blocks were actually uh people. They were turned into yeah. blocks. So that just shows how much of a mass murder Mario is. <laughs> That's hilariously scary. Oh, do you know what's worse? Imagine when Princess Toadstool reverses the magic and all of those pieces of brick turn into pieces of pe people. Was there actually a scene of that? Nope. <laughs> I'm no. just... Okay, I really don't like this stage. Like, I can get through it, but still, it was a pain in the ass when I was a kid playing through this. It's either you get stuck in those stupid tornadoes or that goddamn sun comes down just to fuck around with you. The sun is angry. Wait, hang on. The sun itself is an enemy in this game. Yes, it is. Yeah. What the? I hit him! What the hell was that? Are you fucking kidding me? Is that not a feature of this one compared to All Stars? What the shit? <laughs> you can't kill the sun with a shell. That, that, <laughs> that has to be a joke. I'm going to try it again. I, I want to test this out. No, oh my god, it went through him! Holy shit, so now I have to live with this fucker. Oh, great, I just got hit. Um, I think Dorkly did a bit about the Mario 3 set. Yeah, I know he did. Um, there was a bunch of baddies, and they're all talking about plants that get Mario. And then the sun comes in, and he's like, Oh, I want to take on Mario. And they're just like, yeah, dude, you're kind of important to us. And the next thing he does, he goes right after Mario, and Mario just, like, kills the sun. And because the sun is dead, the entire planet just, like, goes into a complete blizzard. Like, yep, we're all gonna die. It's <laughs> the shit Dorkly comes up with is hilariously genius. I love it. Fucking beautiful. You gotta hit him precisely. Do you really have to hit him precisely? Oh, Jesus. Oh, man, hey. I got a mushroom card. Eh, it was still hey, worth it's it. like I always say when people ask me how to do things. Correctly and with precision. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It all started when people started asking me how to spell things, and I only really did this because I myself didn't know how to spell those words. So when someone said, hey, how do you spell this word? I'm, I'm just like, correctly. <laughs> Fun times. Ah, oh, damn also, it! This stage, I'm like, also a fan of, go like, ahead. Oh, sorry, go on. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. I'm also a fan of anti-jokes and things where it's just, like, the answer is so simple, but because of the way you ask the question, it confuses someone. For example, hey, how do you drop a raw egg on a concrete floor without cracking it? <laughs> Not sure. Oof. You can't crack concrete with an egg. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no shit, Sherlock. Oh, god damn it! Well, so oh, much, so much for having to go up there now. Shit. All oh, my personal favorite. Never mind. <laughs> I bounced into the goddamn pit. <laughs> Beautiful work. 10 out of 10. Someone get John Tron in here. We need another clip. 
But yeah, my personal favorite one of those is this one, and it goes, Hey, imagine you're in a rowboat surrounded by sharks, and the boat is sinking. What do you do to survive? You can't. Nope, you stop imagining. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, like, that's, that's right the fuck out of nowhere. I don't know, all of them are designed to mess with the mind. Like, fucking... A is the father, is like... They use A's and B's for, like, names because they can't just pick a name out of their ass from nowhere. So it's like, A is the son of B, but B is not the son of A. How is this possible? <laughs> Ugh. The answer is B is the daughter of A. <laughs> it's fun, and I, it's fun because it's stupid, and it, because when you do it, it irritates people sometimes, and it's not because I enjoy irritating people, it's because it's just funny. <laughs> I like mind-twisting things. <laughs> One thing I don't enjoy, though, are questions that can't be answered. There's, like, questions that aren't answered. It just bothers me. Oh, God, it's look like, at how red this thing is. It's like, I need to finish this puzzle, please. Just put the pieces on. Do -do 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 -do. Put the pieces in. If that makes sense. Yeah, no, um, okay. Whoa, Jesus. Oh, fuck! Alright, now I gotta deal with these. Ow! Oh. Get the fuck over here. Gotcha. Alright. Let's bring you all the way up here, because I gotta take shells and break blocks. Now I gotta- <laughs> Now I gotta fucking slide through them. I think what- I think what- I think War Hero might be trying to take the piss out of my disdain for answer, unanswered questions. Two I'm plus a, two I'm equals. A... Two shits <laughs> to not give a fuck. Exactly. <laughs> Magical responded fish, because yes, that is definitely the answer. You know, I remember when I was a kid, um, there was somebody I spoke to, and like, he, he, like, he kind of fucked around with me with this kind of joke, and he's like, two plus two equals Sega. <laughs> Which is like, what the shit? <laughs> Excuse me, what the fuck? I know, okay, right? That's, that's not joke funny, that's just out of nowhere funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, sometimes you don't need a joke to be funny to get someone to laugh, you just need for it to be able to, like, surprise them. It's just like, you slap them in the oh, face God. with a joke and they're just like, <laughs> what? It's all about the timing. Mm-hmm. You can thank that person who came up with that joke. Because I never saw him for a while after all these years. Alright. Oh! What the? I wasn't precisely on top of him. Alright. You know, some people say that these Mario games can be punishing. I'm just like... Bro. I grew up with this shit. I lived with it. Grow some thicker skin. Can't really say much for these stupid fucking matching games. Also, if people say this game is hard, I will direct them to Count oh, Mario, look at that. tell them to play that, and then get back to me. Or um, or the Lost Levels. And yes, I will play Lost Levels, like, if people want me to play it. Because I can beat it. It's just, it, you know, it's, it's a huge, hilarious frustration factor in which I don't mind getting frustrated at. Because um, I know that the game is, like, brutally hard. Like, I know it, like, I know it it's a fault of my own. It's easily acknowledging it. It's fucking hilarious how some people react to them. Like, I remember, the first um... The step is admitting you have a problem. <laughs> no, I, um, I remember, uh, you probably know this already. I saw the, like, god damn it. I was uh, shown the countdown of, like, the top five worst Mario games. And some of the choices they picked are just like, oh my god, those are sad excuses to make choices. Like, they played, um, they picked the freaking Mario Land games. Saying that, oh, the game is too short. We understand it's from the lifespan of the Game Boy game. So why are you giving punishment to these games by putting them in the countdown? You know, if you want really bad games, fucking Hotel Mario or, you know, the, the Mario teaches typing or Mario's missing. Oh, and they said they didn't want to include those because those are spinoffs. Like, well, then you don't have a countdown. It's fucking horseshit. When they reached the number one, they picked Lost Levels. And I'm like, okay, you know, to an extent, I can understand that, but it's not... It's not one of the worst games out there. It's just a very, like, it's a very mind-bending game. And they said, like, like I, oh, I felt trolled when I played the game. Sprout a dick and grow up. 
<laughs> sprouted dick just from anywhere. Like a plump. Like the pubic hair on your chest? <laughs> Through sheer anger alone, sprout a dick. Oh no, you say that, but I think, to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if I was the hairiest motherfucker in the UK. <laughs> Honestly, I could go to the US, go to the woods, someone will see me from a random angle and it's like, it's Bigfoot, and it's just like, no. I'm just really fucking hairy. <laughs> And look, it's stop. Sasquatch! It's just like, no, I'm not a Sasquatch. Please stop trying to shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's this shit that reminds me of those comedians like Russell Howard and some of the like routines they do. It's like one of the things he does is like, if you hit me at 40 miles an hour, there's an 80% chance I'll live. If you hit me at 50 <laughs> miles an hour, there's an 80% chance I'll die. Stop trying to hit me. Come on, stop trying to hit me and hit me. <laughs> Ow! You think that's air you're breathing now? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, you believe in air? No, I, I, I'm starting to get flashbacks to that stupid video, farting within the matrix. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I understand that Morpheus is trying to hammer home the whole none of the sensations you're feeling are real, but it's like, okay, yes. I do believe it's air I'm breathing because I feel it and perceive it that way. Can you stop telling me that life is a lie and start showing me that life is a lie? Yeah, no, uh, the Matrix can really be preachy as hell. It's like, I don't want to see you do jumping jacks between these buildings like Pinkie Pie in that one episode that one time. What I want you to do is help me fight the machines. Like, you <laughs> wanted me to, so stop wasting my time. In fact, I don't know why they do the training sessions when they've shown that they can literally download a bunch of stuff conveniently onto your mind. <laughs> I'm gonna go this ahead and like... call. Sorry, I'm gonna go ahead and call this an episode and then continue the conversation after uh, the next one. Uh, so I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Yeah.